I will be okay. Part two. I will be okay because God is with me. I will be okay because God lives in me. I will be okay because it gives me a power to over all of the things I went through. I will be okay. I will be okay no matter what I'm going through. Because God is in front of me. God is next to me. God is holding my hand. I will be okay. No matter what. No matter what I'm going through. I will be okay. What I went through and it came out strong man I am today. I will be okay. Whatever is coming on my way, I will be okay. You know why? God is in me. Who is in me is bigger than who is in the world. I will be okay. No matter what. I'm not afraid of anything. Because it's stronger than anything. God is stronger than circumstances. God is stronger than sickness which can come on my way. God is stronger than iron I have. God is stronger than anything that I'm facing right now. God is with me in the storm I'm facing right now. God is with me and he will be with me until the end of the, the time. God is with me no matter what. Every time I cry to him, he's ready to help me. I will be okay. No matter what I'm facing, I will be okay. I will be okay. The storm I went through since I was born until today, and I'm still okay, and I'm still a strong woman. That means I will be okay, no matter what I'm going through. I want to encourage you who's watching my videos, just tell yourself that you will be okay. It may be hard right now. Instead of crying, feel pity for yourself. Get up and tell yourself, I will be okay. Look yourself in the mirror. No one who will pick you up. You need to encourage yourself morning and night. Yes, it may be hard. It may be difficult. You may be going through stuff. Look yourself in the mirror. Say, I'm stronger than this. No more hard time. No more feel pity for yourself. You are stronger. Special parent. If you feel, your, if, if you feel yourself pity, you, what your kids will do? We need to be a good example for the kids. I used to ask God why. Why me? What happened to me? Which sin did I commit? A few weeks ago, my son asked me, Mommy, why no more say, why me? What did I do? I didn't know that he's recording what I'm saying. I say, you know what? I found out I'm stronger than what I'm facing. Because God who is in me is bigger than who's facing me. He will fight my battles. He's with me. No matter what you go in, my friends, just encourage yourself that you will be okay. You may not have money right now, but you will be okay. You know why? God is your provider. You may be sick. Maybe you get bad report. I, I know what I'm talking about. When I was going through cancer, every six weeks I get bad report. Say so your cancer is spreading all over your body. We're going to do another operation. It wasn't easy for me. I was always crying, asking myself how I'm going to leave my son back. But God was there with me. I said before I die, I need to save God. I was serving God night and the day, singing, cleaning church, doing everything to just keep my, my mind off what I'm, I was going through. Since God healed me cancer, I say, God, no matter what I'm going through, I will be okay. And I will save you. No matter where you will send me, I will go because you will make a way for me. God has made so many ways for me. I can't say no to God. Even if I say no, where can I go? 
that this darkness world no so it's better to say yes to god because he will cover you he will save you he will protect you he will provide for you he will heal you just hanging there if you are sick just hanging there save god or if you are not a save jesus yet as your personal savior just do it pray even if you don't know how to pray kneel down and call jesus help me to pray he will do it for you god will hear you since he hear my cancer what else he cannot hear not because i'm holy than others is his favor and he can do it for you too yes the day i receive good news is the day i receive bad news that my best friend who had same cancer as me has passed away but i'm not said that she passed away i can call it she passed on you know why because she's in good press soon and very soon this word is telling me soon my god is coming to take us home so i will see her again and also another my best friend in rwanda she passed away in 2020 i believe she was having cancer of brain so also i'm not said that she passed away i can say she passed on because both of them I would see them never lose them again that is which gave me more courage to do everything God asked me to do he didn't heal them maybe it was their time to go home because this world is not our home we're just passing by so I want to encourage you no matter what circumstances you face in my friends just hanging there God will rest you He will change your life. Don't continue to feel pity yourself. No matter what you went through in the past. When devil reminding you your past, remind him his future. He doesn't have any future, but you you have. Because when God come to take us home, you will live with angels. Imagine that. But Satan will you know when he's going to go to hell and burn 100 years. over a thousand years so be courage today my friends just continue to courage yourself instead of feel pity for yourself say i will be okay you are the one who can make yourself strong yes with god with you you can be stronger than you think you can achieve more than you, you can achieve be blessed my friends